Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid, and here is the Corvette. I did not do an awful lot of greepling off screen, or run screen, and I changed a few blocks, but I didn't want to put too much detail in this ship because it's not very big. So, and although I do have this big empty spot right here I'm not real happy with, but I might come back and, and fix that later. Yeah, there needs to be something here, but... That's something for another day, because I really like to get started on the frigate. So I've been thinking. Uh, thinking about the Dreadnought and the Corvette and this this um, line of ships I want to do. The ship, the line, eventually. No, uh, the line of ships. I guess the Dreadnought would be the ship of the line. Anyway, um, I think the sort of idea, the, the um, motif I'm going for is going to be kind of flat tops with a tower bridge. That's sort of the inspiration I get from Star Wars, you know, the Star Destroyers. I always like the bridge being on the tower in the back. So a raised bridge, although this isn't really towery, not as much as the Dreadnought. Even then, that wasn't super towery, but still. Uh, then also the profile, I kind of like the uh, narrow, narrower ships with the, the long stick ships, basically. Um, I get that inspiration from the Alien movies, you know, the big ships they have. Um, they're designed to look like uh, the rifles. And I just kind of always like the, the idea of a, of a kind of a rifle-y looking ship. Yeah, that that's bugging me now, this big empty spot, but I'll come back and I'll work on that off camera. Uh, I didn't want to start working on the frigate without you, because I kind of did the Corvette without you. In fact, I wasn't even planning on having a Corvette in this this uh, line of ships. But we do now. So, again, I was thinking about this ship and the Dreadnought uh, about bridge size. And this bridge, I believe, is 10 meters long in the interior. Let's check that out. Come on, my measuring stick. Yeah, roughly 10 meters. You can see the end of the yellow over here. I uh, really can't see it like that, so there you go. Into the yellow, roughly 10 meters. Uh, it's probably closer to 11. The ship is 110 meters, so that's 10% of the ship is bridge of its length. For the Dreadnought, I wanted to go oh, 600-ish, 608 meters long as the Dreadnought, and the, uh, the bridge was like 60, 70 meters long. So I'm thinking 10%, 10% of the ship's length should be bridge. That's just going to be a rough, rough uh, rule of thumb for me. Not exactly, but, you know. And let's see. Again, I want it to be, what, two, maybe 300 meters? This one's 100 meter. Um, Dreadnought was six. Let's do the frigate at 250. I'm arbitrarily pulling that number. Let's stand up. Oh, I'm not in gravity. Good. All right, and let's abandon the Corvette to the deep darkness of space. And let's start a new one. X. I never named the first one, actually. I rarely name any of them. So, let's just start. I'm going to get some pink, basic pink. And we're going to grab some girders and some basic dark gray. Let's see. Now... The dreadnought, the core was set somewhat back in the in the bridge, and the the Corvette, it's right up on the front. I think I think I want symmetry mode actually on the core there. And let's see, we're just gonna have this like center platform thing. Uh, let's see, I want it to be, if we're going to do 250, so what, 20, 25, let's do another 5 this way, so let's do the girders, there we go, and another 5 this way, so that's 15, 20, 25. I guess we'll rip out these middle ones here. We'll have like this central corridor. And 
on the uh, on the bridge. So that's 25 meters. So yeah, I'm gonna call that about the length of the bridge. Uh, now, how do I want to go about this? Five. And I'm doing everything in units of five, basically. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three. Yeah, anyway. And I do under the bridge. I would like a a layer here for logic or whatever, because I don't know how compact this thing's going to be exactly. So I do want this before I actually get to the body of the ship. What you say here? Two, three, four, five. Is I should probably just copy the first structural block I have there. And let's snag some some uh, where's standard armor? Some standard armor. I don't want this one to be as cheap as the as the um, Corvette, but it's nowhere near as expensive as the Dreadnought. So I don't. Or do I want that? Ooh, that would be neat if I had maybe this coming up, then kind of at the sides there where the ah, we're gonna try that out. So as the bridge widens, it's going to have this this narrow column supporting it. And it'll be more like a Star Destroyer. If I don't like it, we'll change it. Alright. Let's see. Now, how much of this do I want to be in the back? Let's hit this at 20 by 20 because the bridge is 25. Alright, and let's do another let's do another twenty here. This will allow for there we go, and that's fifty meters. This will allow for um uh like a hub station to get to the different levels and whatnot. That'll allow for that. And let's do something like this here. Because I'm not gonna remember what I was doing. Just to remind myself, basically. Oh, why not? Let's just... Oop, 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 oop. Not, not that. There we go. There we go. So all any sort of logic-y stuff will have to be done under this central, central column. I don't plan on having lots of logic-y stuff on the bridge. Anyway. Uh, that is the rough... A rough approximation of a bridge. Uh, let's see, and let's run on you. This is going to be the top of the ship. Actually, tell you what, let's do just regular old standard gray. That's a 150 meter long ship that's already 50 meters longer than the Corvette. Uh, let's do a drop here. So, one, two, three, four, five. This is just playing with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. How would that look? I don't like that. Let's drop this down to 50. See how that looks. No, no, still not, not right. Undo. I do want that drop there. About twenty-five. That looks better. I, I think I like that better. And two hundred and fifty is not a set in stone number. It's just a rough, rough estimate of what I want. So let's see you. Let's extend you. It's two hundred. And that would be 250. 
Oh, so the bridge will be about halfway. Huh, that's interesting, the way that came out. 250th, actually, yeah, I, I think I like that. Ah, I'm not sure about this immediate drop. I would say instead of immediate drop, we do like a... Something like that, maybe? Kind of a gradual slope down? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to throw in blocks out here right now. Uh, how does that actually look? I don't want to make that to be 9, and it like 5. There we go. And let's see. Ooh, I really don't like that. Huh. What if I just do like a 45? Alright, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to redo. Um, Pete's sake, come here. In fact, I might even scrap this all together. That's part of Star Made. Building something and scrapping it. Seeing how it looks. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. I thought I would, but looking at it now, I don't. This is why I do most of my building, or most of my structural hulling and all that. I do most of that off-screen, because I do a lot of this, especially getting the shape in. Let's see, what is, what's my size now? 216? Nineteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's see, let's do that this 30. Alright. Although let's see, actually, let's say from here backwards. Let's run this at that's what it's gonna be what fifty. Uh let's I'll run all this. Down one. From here. And we'll put the engines back here. It'll be kind of reminiscent of my old frigate, which was not very good. It had a really long engine compartment. It was a long ship. Do I even have it anymore? Let's see. Wow, I've got to clean this up. No, I don't have it loaded here. I like that ship. Uh, anyway. It's sort of a reconstruction of it, if you're familiar with it. Uh, if you're not, it's the ship that killed uh, Captain Anthros uh, while he was spying on, on my fleet when I was playing on the Star Squadron server. See, uh, maybe there's like this rounded armor piece over the engines. Again, I'm just blocking things in right now. The next actual step is going to be uh, building the the reactor because the uh, I found under Power 2.0 the reactor and the stabilizers they they have a good deal of uh, influence in defining what my ship looks like. Uh, you know, the giant wingy bits on the dreadnought that jutted out to either side? That was because I needed stabilizers for that enormous reactor for it to um, uh, have more reactor. Uh, let's see. Can I get away with that? What capacity is it? Uh, stabilization point eight percent I want to do this. Oh, no. Alright, I'm going to save that for next time. Alright, this is the beginning of a frigate. Okay, I've been JW608.
This has been Star Made. I'll take you cats later.